Hi and welcome back to our channel. I'm Jennifer and this is Kate and today we're really excited to share with you our official final costumes for being extras on the set of the TV show The Chosen. We are heading out very soon to take part in the epic filming of the feeding of the 5,000 and we are super excited. We are all decked out today in our chosen gear. We have on our feeding of the 5,000 t-shirts. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little fish and a loaf of bread in this t-shirt. So we are so excited and we are going to show you our final picks for our costumes. And we're also going to show you what we are bringing on set with us in our extremely heavy chosen bags. So a little what's in our bag video. Before we dive in, we do want to say up front that our final costumes have gotten the official seal of approval from Chosen Wardrobe. So that's a relief. And we are going as two Gentiles. So for the feeding of the 5,000, there's actually a lot of flexibility in what costumes we can wear since people of all nationalities went to hear Jesus preach that day. In our last costume video, we showed you all different kinds of possibilities. We could wear this or we could wear that. And we asked you to leave us your feedback in your comments. And that actually turned out to be really helpful. So if you left us your opinion, thank you. So we're going to now go in and show you our final looks for our costumes. And I will be going first. So this is going to be my final look. It is very similar to the number five look from our last video that so many of you said that you really liked. There are only a couple of changes. The first one is that I have the braided leather belt now, and then also the bag. It's not the little crossbody bag that we, I had before. It's now this bigger bag, um, which we'll talk more about in a couple of minutes. Um, but then I have my necklace and I have the striped gray headscarf. I have my Jesus sandals, which you've seen a couple of times. So that is going to be my final look. And this is going to be my final look. I started off with a final look that had a lot more layers. I had three layers on my head. That's just not gonna work in the Texas heat. So I'm down to this colorful headscarf and I watched some videos on YouTube, of course, about how to tie it. And I actually like how it's tied because it has my hair all the way off my neck and it's a very lightweight scarf. So I think it's going to work. I have a colorful, more a little bit more colorful sash for a belt. I have my crossbody bag, my cotton robe, my wooden necklace, and our sitting mat. Kate and I can unroll this. It's pretty long and we can both sit on it. So I have it just rigged up to be easily carried. And then I also have my Jesus sandals. So now we're going to go ahead and show you what is in our chosen bag. So originally we were just gonna have this big bulking thing and one of these little crossbody bags, but we quickly figured out that this is just not going to be enough space. So we went ahead and made another bigger bag to help split the load. Everything that's in this big bag was suggested by people online. Some people who live in Texas and have tips for dealing with the heat. Some people who have already been extras on the set of The Chosen. So it's a lot. I don't know if we can take this all. I don't know if I want to lug it around all day, but I think they're all really good suggestions. So let's see what we have. So we're going to start with some the first thing, which is not gonna really be in the bag, um, but it was suggested online, and that is SunGuard. You basically wash your clothing with it, and it makes it sort of UV protectant, so it helps you keep from getting sunburned through the fabric, because we've been hearing that that is happening. Yeah, so we're going to wash our costumes in this before we head out, and hopefully that will give us an extra layer of sun protection. The next thing that was suggested was to have some hand wipes in your bag. We're going to be on the set all day through a couple of meals, and so it will be handy to be able to you know, wipe down our hands, keep them clean, but I don't know because this is only 64 wipes, but it is pretty heavy. We might just have to take some out and put it in a Ziploc bag, I don't know. So this is a maybe. I like the idea of it, but I don't know if I want to lug it around all day. Then, um needs no explanation sunscreen that's going to be absolutely necessary out there 
Yeah, Kate burns really easily in the sun, oh, and I'm always in trouble as a dermatologist for sun damage. So definitely you want to stay protected. The next thing that was suggested was bringing something to read because it could be a long day on the set, so a book maybe. So what do you read on the set of The Chosen? Why, of course you read this book about St. Mary Magdalene from Ignatius Press. Again, this is heavy, not super heavy, but it is bulky. Maybe I'll find something lighter weight, but I really like the idea of reading about St. Mary Magdalene while I'm on the set of The Chosen. Next, we have this little power stick for phone charging, just as an extra backup. Hopefully we won't need it, but it's nice to have. Hopefully our phones will last all day, we'll see. Some type of cooling towel, like a frog tog, was recommended that we could douse with water and then put on our heads or our neck to keep us cool. But of course, I'm too cheap to buy a frog tog, so we bought knockoff ones um, online at Amazon. And my son has already tried one out, so they seem to work pretty well, and this should do the job just fine. Then we also have water bottles, but specifically the insulated water bottles that will keep things cooler much longer. And also in the bag, but not yet because it's on order, are electrolyte tablets to put in our water to help us stay hydrated. We don't want to have sunstroke. That would not be good. Then we would really need Jesus. So the next thing we have is this insect repellent that is specifically for like mosquitoes and ticks, as it says. I think it also works against chiggers, hopefully, because Texas has them all. Mosquitoes, ticks, chiggers, all kinds of bugs and we just want to stay protected. Kate usually gets eaten up. I'm not so bad, but still, I don't want ticks crawling on me. <laughs> Next, it was suggested that in addition to the Jesus sandals that are part of our costume, we should also bring a pair of walking shoes that we can easily walk around all day in, walk through the fields, because in addition to the chiggers and mosquitoes and ticks, Texas also has those goat head stickers, which are very painful. I grew up in Texas and Oklahoma. I am well familiar with them. This is a little bit bulky. I'm not sure yeah. I want to carry them around all day, but I definitely know I Ugh. do not want stickers. Then we have these UV resistant umbrellas. Of course, we can't have them out while we're filming, but for when we're not filming, it'll be nice to have some like handheld shade that we can put up and protect us from the sun. And these are actually a great Amazon find for only about $9. So we're hoping they work because they were only $9. We'll see. They don't have to last very long, but hopefully they'll give us some shade. A bottle of hand sanitizer. Maybe this will replace the hand wipes because it's a lot more portable and lightweight. We'll see. All right, so we have a little baggie here of safety pins for any, I guess, emergency costume repairs. Wardrobe emergency. Or if it's windy and we need to keep our head veils secured, we saw some tips online about how to t uh, pin them under your chin so they don't fly away. We'll be ready. Okay, so next I have three in one item. <laughs> of all this sort stuff. Of. All right, so a pair of tweezers was suggested for pulling off ticks and stickers if you should be so unfortunate to have them. I always like to travel with a pair of scissors for emergencies. So I'm debating these two or maybe just my faithful Swiss army knife because it does have a, a little set of tweezers and it does have a little set of scissors built in, but they're not as heavy duty as these. So I'm debating that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I don't know, can we even have weapons on the set? <laughs> and now we're down to our last thing, which is this little handheld fan. For obvious reasons, you gotta have some breeze out there. So yeah, this is, now our bag is empty, but that's a lot of stuff. So again, we're debating what is absolutely necessary and what can we maybe not have to take. It's only one day, 
but, but I mean, we're not glamping or camping. It's just one day. Um, surely we can muscle through just one day without every single luxury item. I think just staying safe from the sun and staying hydrated, those are going to be the two most important things. So now you know all our secrets, what we're wearing, what we're taking, or at least what we're thinking about <laughs> taking. Let us know down in the comments what you think of our gear, any additions or subtractions, anything else that we're overlooking. And we would also like to ask for some prayers from all of you for everyone traveling, not just for us, and also for the cast and crew so we can just have a fun and safe time. We also all need to have negative COVID tests, so <laughs> please pray for that as well. Even if we get there and we test positive, it's still okay. It's still been a fun journey. It will, and you know, we'll just make the best of it. So we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.